Hi guys, I'm Meredith Duxbury, and today I'm here to show you my Cosmo Hot Girl travel tips. I love to travel. I was born in England, so I grew up traveling all around, so it's definitely something that I always love to do. I like taking planes. It's part of the whole adventure, because I feel like I'm getting to a whole different part of the world that I've never experienced. Before I get on a flight, I like to have clean, nice, like natural skin. Personally, there's nothing worse than being on a long flight with tons of makeup on, so I'll usually just do my skincare routine, I'll do a serum and a moisturizer, and I'll be good to go. I definitely use the bathroom in the airplane, I feel like whenever I'm on a flight, I have to go a hundred times more than I would in a regular day. So you can always catch me in the bathroom on the flight. The first thing I do always is chapstick and usually hand cream. This one, it's almost gone. It's literally like my airplane hand cream. This is the Caudalie Hand and Nail Repairing Cream. It smells so good. It just smells like fresh, really good. I'm gonna put some on now because my hands are actually really dry in the winter and I just got off a flight from Dubai. So I'm even more dry than I usually would. Be. This is my favorite chapstick in the entire world to travel with. This is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. It is so nourishing and juicy, and Haley has like so many different flavors. It's so good. I always pack this. I mean, I have a hundred like different chapsticks in my bag, but this is usually my go-to. Then if I'm going to sleep on the flight, I'll make sure to moisturize before. This one I love. This is the Nude Sticks um, Citrus Sea Mask. That's a mouthful. Daily moisturizer, it's so good, and it also smells amazing. And I have sensitive skin, but none of these scented products irritate me. There's just something about them, they're so good. Definitely recommend these. When you get up from your flight, if you're sleeping and you have a meeting or something to go to after your flight or somebody to meet, these two are so good. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation. So soft and glowy, it's not like thick. And then if you wanna set it with a little powder, this is perfect because it's a brush and powder in one. This is the Tarte C Set and Protect. So these two are great little makeup products to bring. You can't forget a cute little mirror. This is the cutest mirror I've ever seen in my life. I love to bring perfume. I'm almost out of this one actually. This is the Lancome La Vie bell so good i am obsessed with perfume too and i think it's so important to smell good after your flight because i feel like airplanes have a certain smell and i don't know the perfume just makes you feel like rejuvenated and fresh hair ties can't forget your hair ties more chapstick and moisturizer this is the clinique moisture surge this one i use if i have like a really long flight because it's kind of like a face mask it's really really hydrating this is the bite agave nighttime lip therapy i'll use this too if i have like a really long overnight flight and you'll wake up and you'll still have this stuff on your lips more sunnies just in case you're looking a little tired and you feel like you need to cover up those bags what else is in here oh this is the tarte rose gold glow little highlighter. Like I was saying before, if feeling a little dry and tired, just pop this on your cheekbones and you'll be looking good to go. These are more like if I have some full glam that I need to touch up. You never know what you're gonna be wearing on the flight. This is the Patrick Ta Lip Gloss in shade Superficial. It's so good, super glowy. This is a matte lipstick from Morphe in shade Boo. I usually like to pair this lip gloss and the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner together. It's called Gym Lips and it just gives like a really juicy look, but natural. So if you don't have any makeup on, you can still wear this and it'll just look very natural and cute. How could I forget? This is super important for your under eyes so they don't look dry and tired after your flight too. This is the Dior um, Eye Serum and it has this really nice cooling applicator and it'll just help you feel nice and refreshed. I always have some jewelry in my bags just in case I forget to pack jewelry for a trip I'm going on. I always have some in this bag in case. And that's all that's in the first bag. Whenever I'm with my boyfriend and he's traveling with me, I'm like, can you please carry my bag? Cause it weighs like 50 pounds. He's like, what do you have in here? You don't wanna know. This is the cutest little bag ever and the cutest little stuff inside. This is all from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm obsessed with mini makeup. I did a little series on TikTok of mini makeup. These are the little glow wands I was talking about. If you get off a flight and you just feel like I need a little bit of makeup, like I'm about to see someone or there's some cameras around or something. These little wands are the cutest. You just twist them up. Look at how cute that is. Dab a little bit on your cheeks and they have it in the highlighter and I think the contour one's in here too somewhere. Little mini serum and little mini Charlotte Magic Cream. More moisturizer and serum. You guys, I literally have like a whole makeup kit in here with me. <laughs> 
Also, I feel like it would be fun to do like a get ready with me makeup routine on a plane. So you never know, this might come in handy one day. Okay, next, this is really important to me because I feel like planes can be very dirty, I don't know, and I just, I feel like I always get sick after I get off a plane, so I always have hand sanitizer. This one is Emu, everyone must use, and it's super easy, it's just like a little spray one, and it smells so good. I swear whenever I'm on my flight, I'm like doing all my little things, my friends are like, can I use some of that? More chapstick, you guys, I'm telling you, it's a problem. This is from Laneige, it's the peach one and the mango one, so good. I think I'm almost out of this, it's just so delicious. Snacks, this bag I literally just got back with from Dubai, so all my snacks are gone. My favorite snack of all time are dried mangoes. Something about them, they make me feel healthy, but they're like a dessert. I love them so much. This is the one snack I have left in here. This is the Kind Caramel Almond and Sea Salt Bar. These are so good. And I feel like I'm such a sweet, like a sweets person. And this gives me like a little dessert. This little concoction I made myself. I saw it on TikTok. It's a deep loading oil. It has peppermint oil, lemon essential oil, daja I think it's called, and um, coconut oil and I made it, I ordered these little roller balls off Amazon, and you're supposed to rub it on the top of your stomach, the bottom of your stomach, and around your belly button, and then you like put it in your belly button, and it's supposed to debloat you. It actually works, I feel like, so much better after I use it, so I've been taking this with me on my flights. I made one for my friend when we went to Dubai, and we were just like using it the whole flight. Hydration is key, like I said, so I bring these liquid IV hydration multipliers with me. You just put them in some water, shake it up, and you're good to go. Oh, these are the masks that I was talking about that I never use, but I should use them. I think this is the Kylie Cosmetics one. This one is from Live Tinted Eye Masks. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. I have a little beauty blender in here, you never know. Might need to do a little makeup routine on the flight. Gum, I love gum. I have such bad problems with my ears on flights, like the pressure. So chewing gum really helps to alleviate I don't know, the pressure and just help pop my ears. I'm always vlogging wherever I go. So I always have my little Sony camera in here and it's just like so handy and easy and fits wherever in my bag. More sunglasses. I always for forget to pack sunglasses too on trips. So I feel like these are just perfect to have in my bag. They go with every outfit, they're versatile. I have these little zit like sticka things and I, really never get pimples, but I always get pimples after flights, so I always have a few of these little things in my bag. I have some Neutrogena makeup wipes. I'm a very last minute, spontaneous person. Never know when I'm gonna book a flight. What if I have full glam on and I'm like, let's just take a trip somewhere. So I don't know, I have these in my bag in case I need to remove anything. My AirPods, love listening to music on flights. I feel like when I'm on a plane, I feel like I'm in another world. So listening to music just like, I don't know, relaxes me. This is another good travel hack. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. If you don't have makeup on and you're feeling tired and you're like, I just, I don't look good right now, I swear, use this, brush your brows up and you'll feel like a new person. It gives you like an instant facelift. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me. We have some more sculpting sticks. This is the Tarte Sculpt Tape. Just like the Charlotte ones, you just do a few little dots, blend it in, and you're looking like a brand new person. Then I have my O-Face Satin lipstick by e.l.f. This is in shade No Doubt. You guys know me, you know I love nude lipsticks. This is the perfect nude and I cannot go anywhere without a perfect nude somewhere in my bag. So this is it. Also, along with brushing your brows up, if you wanna put a little mascara on, that'll do you some justice too. It'll just like bring your face up, make you look a little fluttery. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And it's so cool, it has like a little trick to the wand. So the front of the wand gives you like the load, like puts the mascara on and then the side of it will spread your lashes apart and really lift it up. This is just like a two in one. You don't need any other lash tools with this. It'll just like make your eyelashes look bomb. Then if you wanna get a little crazy, <laughs> you can put on some lashes. You never know. I'm the type of person that I feel like would put lashes on at the end of a fight and be like, I'm looking like a brand new person. This is my little lash kit that I'm talking about. Four products is all you need. These are my Kiss Meredith Duxbury lashes in style 4 a.m. These are the most natural style, I'd say. Then all you need are your tweezers, your little scissors to snip the edges to make sure it fits your eye, and your lash glue, and that's all. I feel like this is cute to show you guys. This is off of Amazon. I lose everything, and I feel like this pink shiny thing 
I'm always gonna see it wherever it is in my bag. I just keep it in here and it makes it look cute. And that's all that's in my bag, you guys. Personally, I like a window because of the lighting when you're taking off. If you get an afternoon or morning flight, you can take those golden hour selfies. I usually skip the airplane food. I love bringing snacks in my bag. I'm such a snacker. I'm not a huge like three meals a day. I just like snack all day long. So I always have tons of snacks in my bag. It's so important for me to go to like, what is it called, Hudson News and get all the snacks before I get on my flight. <laughs> My best beauty secret and tip, even though I'm a full glam queen, I think that moisturization and just like glowiness is key. Even if you're a beginner, if it's hot out, if the lighting's not right, you can never go wrong with a glowy look. So I always have something glowy packed in my bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments which tips you end up using. Love you guys.